Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to this three looks one palette video with the relatively new Rick and Morty X Glam Light palette. I did do a full review featuring one look and all the swatches and all of my first impression impression thoughts in a different video which I'll link down below and at the end of this video. Today I just wanted to do three looks. I will show you some swatches right here <laughs> and I, I will show you the inside of the palette. This is what it looks like. It's so it's a wonderful bright and also deep color story that I really like. This is the second look that I created here. The first look will be a little bit more natural. I don't know what the third look will be. We'll be surprised together. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe if you like makeup as much as I do. I also do a little bit of fashion over here. I do a lot of shorts, a couple of long form videos every week. So yeah, subscribe if any of that sounds interesting to you. And let's hop into look number one. So welcome to look number one. I thought for the first look we would do something a little bit laid back, a little bit toned down because I am actually going somewhere tonight and I don't want to look crazy. <laughs> also, I don't think you're crazy if you do wear bright eyeshadows, but this is like a bridge club with a lot of old people. So I'm just going to tone it down. So my uh, skirt for today is this color pink. So I thought we would dabble in the sort of salmony tones i feel like that would be a nice match maybe do something pink on the lower lash line i mean this palette does actually have a full corner of very or maybe a full row of very warm shades that i think we could work with so i found a fluffy brush that's not clean but it doesn't stain anymore <laughs> and i'm going to start off with this beautiful salmony color over here i feel like it's important to show you different types of looks and to show you that this palette could also be wearable. I'm sure my other two looks will be less wearable. In case you're not interested. This is a really nice shade. I mean, I really love that. You know what? I think I'm also going to take this underneath the lower lash line. Just because it's so pretty. I love the fact that Glam Light shades are always very pigmented, even when they're very light. But they're not dusty. Actually, this matte formula feels very creamy. More creamy than the other shades. It doesn't have as much kick up in the pan either. So I think that's enough. And instead of going in with the red to deepen it up, I'm going in with this warm purple or pink. I'm sure the red would have been pretty too, but I wanted to make it a little bit more pink. I mean, it got very pink very quickly. I'm <laughs> cleaning off that brush on my hand and I'm going back with the peach because I want it to be more visible. And I'm also going to take just a little bit of that deep purple, put that in the outer corner. They build very nicely. This is the third mat I'm adding on top of this pile. And it's just as vibrant. I'm only going to do it on the top half. I like it. So now, why not do two shimmers? I'm going to do this one first and add it to the outer part of my lid. And I like to take those shimmer shades slightly diagonal and also to also emphasize that shape that I built with the matte. And then I'm going to go into the orange shade with a different finger. And I'm popping that on the inner part of the lid. Also in a diagonal. Maybe this isn't becoming as wearable as I thought it would be. So now finally I'm going into that in our corner shade, this one is a little bit more purple, whereas I would have liked it to be a little bit more peach. But it still works because we did use purple. I'm also putting that on the inner part of my tear duct. And I'm slightly overlapping the orange shade as well. That's nice. And I'm not going to do the highlight today. 
I kind of like it like this. So this is my uh, eyeshadow look so far. I'm going to add, well, at least liner and mascara and a little bit of face makeup. And we'll see where it goes. I'll show you. <laughs> I'm back. This is my finished look. I decided to use the Accelerated Time Lip Kit on my lips, which has a sort of rosy toned lip liner, mid-toned. And a very metallic orange. Well, it's sort of pinky orange. I'm not sure. But it's very metallic, this lip gloss. It's a lot more opaque than the purple one that I used in my initial first impressions. So just letting you know. I do really like it. I think I'm going to change the lip into something slightly more wearable for tonight. But if this was any other day, I, I would rock this. It's just I'm meeting also meeting some new people tonight. And I just don't want to be too OTT. <laughs> anyway, I do really love this look. Let me know if I succeeded in keeping it a little bit more toned down. I feel like if you see the palette, you're not thinking about this look. You're thinking about something even more dramatic than this. At least I was. <laughs> so let me know what you think of this and let's hop into look number two. Hi and welcome to look number two. So today I'm not really going anywhere. So let's just go all out. I really want to do a combination of the greens and the blues going into these really deep blackish blues. <laughs> I think that will be really pretty. I'll try and keep the inner part light with this one. We'll see what happens. I already made this brush dirty last time with the black. So why don't we just start again there? <laughs> so I'm going into the matte black shade. Thought I'd do things a little bit differently today, but I I'm still trying to make this look pretty. And I've realized over the last year or so that that means you have to start off small and maybe not build it out too much. Especially since I am very fair and I like to work with these deep colors. It's just not always the prettiest on me. So I'm taking, a, I'm taking my own advice and I'm just adding a touch of black in the outer corner and this is a very buildable black it's more of a dark gray actually <laughs> maybe I'm using the wrong brush I mean I know I am and that's okay because I don't want it to be too much but yeah this one takes a little bit of building so I'm going to put this brush to the side it's too dark now and instead I'm going into this smaller also stained brush but with a little bit of a lighter color cleaning it up on my hand a little bit more yes I know I desperately need to wash my brushes I kind of want to throw things around a little bit I usually do green and in the inner part of my eyes and then fade into a bluish black but I kind of want to start with the deep shade now so, uh, with the green shade now so I'm going into this dark green matte shade and I'm putting that sort of on top of that black yeah that works really nicely something like that that's perfect that's exactly what I want now I'm taking a smaller stiffer blending brush and I'm going to add something of a neon pop so do we do the blue or the green? I think I'm going to go with this minty greenish shade. I'm going to pop this right there. I think that looks nice. It looks a lot more turquoise on camera. I don't know if that's also the case on your screen. When in reality, it's truly a mint. It's a mint green. Either way it will work, but for me, it kind of looks like this shade, which then again on camera looks even bluer. <laughs> so that's interesting. There's something wrong with the blue scale on my phone, I guess. In reality, this really doesn't look as dark and dramatic as it does on camera. At least I don't think so. I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go into this beautiful very dark green shimmer shade this is the type of shade i love especially by glam light they just know how to make these types of dark metallics super interesting so i'm just trying to keep to my rule keep it a little bit contained 
and add it to the outer part. And I'm going back with that previous brush and blend out the upper edge. And you know what? I'm also going to take this brush and go into this, yeah, the same shade and add a little bit of that to the outer corner of the lower lash line. I guess that went dramatic pretty quickly. See if I can blend it out a little bit. Yeah, it got away from me. <laughs> pretty much. Let's see if we can lighten it up a little bit. So instead of doing the, the bright green, which is beautiful, I'm going to stick to my original idea and go into the light blue shimmer shade. I think this is really going to change the way this look looks. Because I'm putting this all over the inner part. That's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. And now with a small pencil brush, I'm putting that same shade on the inner corner, which will make it look even brighter because there's nothing underneath to deepen up the shade. I really like this shade. It's a blue, but it's a very grayish, icy, silvery type of blue. But it is still light enough for me to use as an inner corner. So I like it. And then to bring in a little bit more of the green, I guess I am going into that pretty bright green shade with the same brush and I'm putting this on the last available place right there and I'm also putting a little bit of that light blue shade underneath my brow that's it for the second look I'm going to add everything else <laughs> probably a pair of lashes a little bit lighter face makeup I've been really into that lately See if I can make the wings slightly less dramatic, because I do like that better. But yeah, this is it. So, I'm back. This is my finished look. I really like it. I took a little bit away from the outer corners, just to... You know, I thought it was dramatic enough without that. I added some lashes that I cut to be just a little bit smaller, but not exactly half lashes. Then I added a bit of the highlighter palette. And today I used the shade Anomaly, which is this one over here, which looks very blue, purplish on me. But it is definitely more of a multi-chrome, duochrome type of shade. And then I kept the rest pretty neutral and simple. I did a little bit more makeup than I was intending to, but I liked it. It's not very hot today. So... Yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching me create it. And now let's hop into the final look. Hello and welcome to look number three, the final look in today's video. Before we hop into the final look, I want to quickly show you some footage of a look that I did yesterday, combining the Michaela part one palette with the uh, Rick and Morty palette. And I thought the look came out beautifully. The uh, neutral mattes that exist in the Michaela part one palette really complement the vibrant colors in the Rick and Morty palette. So just a little tip if you have that palette. Maybe you can combine the two. I really thought the look was a success. Enough about that, let's hop into the final look. I was looking at the looks that I've already done and trying to figure out which colors I think I haven't really used. And of course many, <laughs> and I will do many other looks. But then there were a couple of things that came to mind. I feel like I could use more of the greens and then I also feel like I could use more of the blues. And then I for sure haven't used this gold shade for my inner lid part. So yeah, that's the way things are going to go. I'm going to do one of my classic peacock looks. And we'll see where we end up. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with this bright green over here. I feel like this is the shade that everyone <laughs> used immediately. But I'm saving it for the last look. Yes, that's nice. I usually don't really put mattes in my inner crease. The only exception is when I'm blending things out and I'm going too far or when I'm using a light matte. And now I'm going to take this blue and I do feel like I've done something quite similar for one of these looks, but 
a well. This is more of a turquoise. I do think I'm missing some lighter shades. I'm going to find a clean brush and blend this all out a little bit more once I've done once I'm done packing it on. I wish there were some more very light shades that I could use to, you know, blend all of this drama out. Therefore, I don't think this is going to be my go-to palette like the Michaela palettes are, especially that second one. But I do think it's a very nice pairing palette. And that's sort of my opinion on it right now. I'll finish the look and say a little bit more about it, but that's how I'm feeling at the moment. And I mean, these mattes are beautiful. And especially if you really pack them on, they're not patchy at all. And they're very pigmented and they look really nice. But it's difficult to get a more soft look with these. And that's sort of what I've been into recently. So yeah, if you want the full drama, it's pretty. But I don't always prefer that anymore. Although it is a lot of fun. All right, now I'm going to add a little bit of this very dark blue and I am just going to use the same brush. Why not? And I'm going to put that in the outer corner. This was also a test to see how well these shades layer on top of each other. And as you can see, this is what Glam Lights mattes do best. Beautiful transition from the even darker blue into the slightly dark blue. I bet I could even add a little bit of that black on top, which I might do. I mean, this is stunning. This is working so well. So now I'm taking a smaller pencil brush and I'm going into the black. And I remember from my other looks that this black was not the most pigmented. But it does still build. I am packing it on quite heavily. But I am truly getting just a little bit more depth in the outer corner. I'm just going to keep it at that. And I'm going back with that sh uh, brush that I used for the other shades. No additional product. Just blending the black into the blue. And now I do want to blend out the edges a little bit more. And I thought I could use this brush, which is a little bit stained but doesn't really contain a lot of pigment anymore and i'm going to start in the inner parts of the eye where that lighter green is and then i'm also going to blend the rest and as you can see it blended out pretty well all on its own so now let's put some shimmer on top of this and i'm going to start with this flat shader brush and I'm going into this gold shade, which I believe is sort of a gold green duochrome. I'm going to put this all over the inner part of the lid. And I'm specifically using a brush and not my finger to make sure that I don't go too high. This is one of those super creamy shades that I really love. I'm cleaning that one up on my hand and I'm going into this bright green metallic which looks really stunning and I'm putting that in the center of my lid and then to finish it off I'm also taking a little bit of this deep shimmer in the outer corner here and I'm just tapping that right over there i love it sometimes a black metallic looks deeper than a black matte i've seen this before and it definitely seems to be the case over here <laughs> so i'm taking that fluffy brush again Whew, the palette was getting a little bit heavy <laughs> And now I could do one of those two very light shades for my inner corner. But I thought we could use the highlighting palette for that. Because there is actually a shade in here, this one, that I haven't used as an actual highlighter yet. 
that I think would be really pretty as an inner corner shade. So I'm taking my pencil brush and I'm going into the shade Uncharted. Yes, that's perfect. I'm actually also putting this over here on that lower lash line. You know, I like to make this little part super bright. I do believe this highlight, this specific one, is too deep for me to use on my cheeks. But this is just perfect. And do I dare? Yes, I dare. I'm going to put some underneath my brow as well. Yes, I do like that. All right, that's going to be it for the eyeshadows. I hope this look isn't too similar to the other ones, but you know, I do really like it. I'm going to do all of my face makeup, finish up the eyes, everything, and then I'll come back and chat a little bit about this pad. <sighs> I just spent about 10 minutes looking for a different lip liner and eventually I just lined my lips with one that needs to be sharpened really bad. I also see that I need to freshen up my inner corner, which is something I often forget. So, <laughs> with that out of the way, this is the finished look. I went with this gloss from Pat McGrath. This is in the shade Astro Moonflower, which is a shimmery blue, which I thought would look kind of cool, but I think that maybe it's a little bit too much and a nude would be better. But hey, if I can't try it right now, then when can I? <laughs> so I really like the way the look came out. I love the way that gold to green looks really really vibrant green actually more vibrant green than the vibrant green looked so i really like the fact that i did it like this i love the blend between the shades i'm actually really content with how this palette worked now just to sum up my thoughts i think this will be my perfect palette but only in combination with another one and i think the one that i would usually pair with this one is the michaela part 2 because it has a lot of the same types of shades but lighter and therefore i could make my looks a little bit more subtle than this because even though the shades build very beautifully and they do blend they're a little bit patchy unless you really build them up so um, I'm tr I tried to do a light layer of a certain color and it just didn't work. It only looked pretty when I really packed it on and then afterwards I could blend it out a little bit at the edges. Which is what I did today and it looks beautiful. But I don't always want this dramatic of a look. I did try to make this look or make this palette into more of an everyday kind of palette in the first look. And also in the look that I did yesterday that I showed you vertically. And it does work, but it's not the easiest and it won't be my go-to. But it's beautiful, it's going to be the perfect pairing palette. And I mean, this type of look is stunning, I do have to admit. <laughs> so yeah, do with that what you will. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you did like the looks and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.